The human foot is optimized for walking and running, not cycling. There are ways we can stabilize that foot and improve your cycling performance. If you think of the biomechanics of walking, it's activated by a heel strike, our arch will collapse. When it collapses, it will roll medially into the bike frame. And as we roll into our toes, there will also be a valgus collapse there, which will push our knee towards the top tube. When looking at building customized shoes during the bike fit, we want to measure and assess how much arch height you have. So we have different uh, footbeds here that can stabilize the arch and also space out the metatarsals. These come in three different heights, so we can estimate what is the right one for you. The collapse in the forefoot, we would use a varus or a valgus shin, depending on the angulation we find in your forefoot. We could use one, two, maybe three of these, depending on how significant that forefoot collapses. Once we've looked at that, we can also take a look at cleat placement on the shoe. We want to make sure that if you have certain positions where you've got um, external tibial rotation, you're going to want the, sh the shoe to be tipped out a little bit. Maybe you need to be tipped in. We can do this with the angulation of the cleat, and then we all can also move the cleat forward and backwards so that we hit what we consider to be the neutral position for cycling. All of this creates a solid foundation underneath your foot, and that allows you to be more powerful into the pedal stroke and greatly reduce the chances of knee injuries. Thank you.